so good day everyone so for this morning i will be discussing i will be discussed about the footnote to you to youth by jose garcia villa so background Garcia Villa was a Filipino poet, literary critic, short story writer, and painter. He was awarded the National Artist of the Philippines title for literature in 1973, as well as the Gottenham Fellowship in Creative Writing by Conrad Aiken, Wikipedia. So he was born last august i like, august 5 1908 manila and also january january 7 1987 new york new york united states also jose garcia villa his nickname is the De, volgion his awards national artist of the Philippines for Literature, Gottenham Fellowship for Creative Arts, and, and U.S. and Canada. Parents, Simeon Villa, Goya Villa, children Randy Villa, and Lance Villa. So we'll go now to the characters of the footnote to you. So the characters are Dodong, Tiang, Dodong's parents, Lucio, Blas, and the last one is Tona. So the setting, where the setting is in a rural area where life is simple. So also the setting when it happened and when the sun was already setting in the west after Dodong was done with his work. So the theme Teenage marriage triumph. So conflict, man versus himself. Rising action. Dodong is trying to think of a way on how to break the news about host, hospital plant of get host plan of getting married to his parents. And when he finally did tell he tell them, his parents approve of it because they can't do anything about it climax tiang gave birth to their firstborn son named blas it was then when dodong felt embarrassed because he knew he is not yet ready to support his family so dodong was not he is not ready to get married or to support his family so falling action Dodong and Tiang starts to to experience the hardships. So this is hardships. I forgot to put an X. Dodong and Tiang starts to experience the hardships and complexities of being married at a very young age. Tone, mercy and pity to Dodong. Style, footnote to the youth talks about the youth as of today why because the youth story the story illustrates what a typical youth would be like so as a result the author brings out rich individual through describing them one by one in the story Vilia arranged the story logically instead of using foreshadowing of flashback irony situational irony when kyang was about to give birth on their first son we expect that dodong feel will feel so happy because but the truth is dodong feel regretful about it the denouement blas at the age of 8 10 18 wanted to marry tona dodong did not object though he doesn't want Blas to marry yet. 
He even tried to make Blas think twice before rushing into marriage because he doesn't want Blas to end up like him. So re resolution, Dod Dodong just look at Blas with resentment. He was hopeless. Youth must triumph. Love must triumph and later on life. So this will be the end of my report. So the moral lesson of the story is that it's not easy for me based on my experience. It is not easy to get married, but we should know it comes along with big responsibility. Yes, because marriage has its own deeper and big responsibility because marriage is something to be taken seriously. And also, from the title footnote to youth, why is the title footnote to youth? Because based on my own perspective, footnote to youth is the title of the story because it is a brief reminder, reminder for us as a Filipino, especially the youth of what a real life could be like today and also it gives the warning the warning to the youth that having a family at an early age is not easy missing missing out on the fun of teenage life so being so as a being youth that's all and thank you for listening